Hello friends, this is your Yoga Nandam, Biology Lecturer from Medal Academy YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the mock test paper from Biology Full Syllabus. By simple listening, you can able to reach your maximum target. Let us continue the question and answer with detailed solutions. All the best. Question number 1. Oppose geotropic roots forming an association with blue-green algae are absorbed in. Cycus shows presence of specialized roots called as coralloid roots which are associated with the nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria. They are also called as apogeotropic as they grow upwards. So the answer for this question is option A. Cycus. Question number 2. Sweet potato is modified root. Potato is a modified stem. Both these plants are classified in order. Ipomia batatas or sweet potato is a plant which belongs to the family Convolvulaceae. It is also called the morning glory family. Potato belongs to the family Solanaceae. Both are included in the order Polymoniales. Generally, order and other higher taxonomic categories are identified because on the aggregates of characters. Order is an assemblage of families that exhibit a few similar characters. The similar characters are less in number as compared to different genera included in the family. Plant families like Convolvulaceae, Solanaceae are included in order polymonials mainly based on their floral characters. So the answer for this question is option A. Polymonials. Question number 3. What type of nucleic acid found in the viral pathogen that causes mottling and leaf decolorization in the Nicotiana group of plants? The tobacco mosaic virus as the genome of single standard RNA. These viruses infect a large group of plants, especially tobacco plants and also many other members of family Solanaceae. This disease caused patches of decolorization and mosaic pattern on leaves as symptom. So the answer for this question is option C. Single standard RNA. Question number 4. From the following list of invertebrates, how many of them are included in the largest marine pylum of animal kingdom? So here there are uh, several species are given. From that, the second largest pylum is pylum mollusca. It is also the largest marine pylum. Apple snail, pearl oyster, cuttlefish, squid and devilfish belong to pylum mollusca. Anopilus, culex and edis belongs to pylum arthropoda. Starfish, sea urchin and sea cucumber belongs to the pylum echinodermata. So the answer for this question is option D. 5. From the given number of species, 5 species belongs to the pylum mollusca. Question number 5. Applying the principles of classification given by R.H. Whittaker, Chlamydomonas and Chlorella is added in. Chlamydomonas and Chlorella both can be categorized under the kingdom Protista as they both follow the definition of a protista they are unicellular eukaryotes so the answer is option c protista question number six hardwoods have hardwood is the name of the dicot wood which possesses abundant vessels and are also called as porous woods the content of tracheids is less than five percent and Xylem fibers are abundant. So the answer is option B. Vessels in abundance. Question number 7. Read the following statements given about organism formed by association of the picobiont and mycobiont and identify the true ones. Ligands are a symbiotic association of the algae that is generally called as picobiont and fungi mycobiont. The algal partner produces food and the fungal partner provides protection to the algae. The fungi also help in absorption of minerals and water. 
ligands generally do not grow in polluted areas hence they good indicators of pollution so from the given four statements statement 1 and 3 are correctly given so the correct option is b question number 8 determine the animals that has blind sac body plan and intracellular as well as extracellular digestion blind sac body plan and intracellular as well as extracellular digestion is seen in nidaria meandriana belongs to the pylum nidaria it shows radial symmetry tenia it is commonly called as tapeworm Cyticula, it is commonly called as parrot and limulus it is commonly called as king crab them show bilateral symmetry so the answer is option a meandrina question number nine select the organism that cannot make food with light as a source of energy trypanosoma is a flagellated protozoan which is a parasitic in nature it causes diseases like sleeping sickness goniolax is a photosynthetic dinoflagellate Chlamydomonas is a single-celled algae. Nostoc is a photosynthetic cyanobacterium. So the answer for this question is option C. Trypanosoma. Question number 10. Select the part of the animal body with its correct tissue type. Alveolar air sac as squamous epithelium. The ciliated epithelium is found in the fallopian tube. Cuboidal epithelium in kidney tubules. The columnar epithelium is seen in inner lining the stomach and the small intestine. So the answer for this question is option C. Squamous epithelium. Lung as sac. Question number 11. Photosynthetic bacteria have pigments in. The bacterial pigments and carotenoids are present in the chromatopores of the bacteria. These are pigment containing light reflecting cells groups of cells. In photosynthetic bacteria, uh, chromatophore is a colored pigment containing membranous vesicles that perform photosynthesis. So the answer is option A. Chromatopores. Question number 12. In the given columns match the plant with the flower based on ovary portion. The portion of the ovary in a flower can be different for different flowers. Some flowers have superior ovary, it is called as hypogyny, where all other parts of the flower are below it. Such condition seen in China rose. Some flowers have an inferior ovary, it is commonly called as epigyny, where all other floral parts of the flower lie above it. Such condition is seen in cucumber. Some flowers have a of inferior ovary. Such kind of flowers are called as perigynous flowers. Gynism is situated in the center and other parts of the flowers are located on the rim of the thalamus almost at the same level. Such condition is seen in peach. So the correctly matching option is option D. Question number 13. Cells found in the hypodermal layer of dicot stem show all these uh, properties except the colon chyma cells are polygonal or oval in shape they have thickening of pectin in the cell wall along with cellulose and a hemicellulose the colon chyma cells are found in the hypodermal layer of the dicot stem these cells have negligible intracellular spaces due to pectin deposition colon chyma is said to be the living mechanical tissue so the answer is option B. Dead at maturity. Question number 14. The stamens are attached to the petals in. The androsium consists of stamens. The stamens can be attached to the petals. This condition is known as epipetalous condition. Such a condition is seen in brinjal. So the answer is option C. Brinjal. Question number 15. The amount of the Golgi bodies will highest in goblet cells being secretory in function which have more amount of Golgi bodies and 
vacuoles as compared to other cells from the options golgi bodies are involved in packaging of proteins the answer for this question is option d goblet cells question number 16 what are pitfall traps that are seen in the members of genus nepenthes in case of nepenthes decidia and sarsinia leaf lamina is modified into pitcher like structure called leaf pitcher in nepenthes the leaf is modified into a hollow cup like structure which is uh, traps the insect effectively for uh, curing its nitrogen deficiency partially so the answer is option c leaf question number 17 in the given set of statements regarding the tissue found in animals determine the option that has the correct combination of true and false statements here there are four statements are given from the given four statements cartilage is present in the tip of nose outer ear joints between adjacent bones of the vertebral column limbs and hands in adults second one huddering junction perform cementing to keep neighboring cells together third one is compound epithelium called dry skin surface the moist surface of buccal cavity parynx inner lining of ducts of salivary glands and of pancreatic ducts fourth one striated muscle fiber is thin elongated with blunt ends and multiple nuclei so from the given four statements statement one is true second is false third one is true fourth one is false so the correct option is option a question number 18 all the given properties are found in the meristematic cell except the meristematic cell has certain set of characteristic features it is generally isodiametric in shape as a prominent nucleus and abundant cytoplasm generally these cells do not possess vacuoles their cell walls are composed of cellulose and are thin to facilitate cell division the meristematic tissue contains compactly arranged cells so the answer for this question is option b vacuoles is very large and may be more than one so except that point remaining all other given properties are correct next question question number 19 yes a student made the following significant observation for the given cell sample cell has large quantities of rough endoplasmic reticulum and many golgi bodies which type of cell can it be bacterium is a prokaryote thus having an organelle like rough endoplasmic reticulum and golgi body is out of question presence of high amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum and golgi bodies indicates high production of proteins god cell is part of stomata which works by imbibing and releasing water supporting in opening and closing of stomata mesophyll part of leaf in plant contains high amount of chlorophyll tissue thus involved in starch production than protein lastly lymphocyte a type of wbc is involved in making antibodies which is made protein rough endoplasmic reticulum is involved and golgi body helps in secreting out those produced antibodies so the answer for this question is option c lymphocyte question number 20 seed dormancy may be due to the presence of dormancy in a seed is the most important characteristic feature because of this character seeds remain viable for many years most of the seeds are uh, unable to germinate just after dispersal they germinate after some time the time between the maturation and the germination of seed is known as the dormancy period the state of incubated germination as a result of internal causes usually called dormancy the seed dormancy is of considerable advantage to the plant which helps in adverse environmental conditions the embryo remains inactive in this period and all the growth processes suspended temporarily there are three main basic reasons of dormancy of seed they are 
impermeability of seed coat, dormant embryo, germination incubators. So the answer for this question is option D. All of these. 21. A cell during the equational division of genetic material will show which of the following events. Here there are three events are given. Mitosis is one of the two divisional phase in cell cycle. It occurs after interphase and is succeeded by cytokinesis. It is commonly called as cytoplasmic division. Mitosis has propase, metapase, anapase and telopase as the stages of karyokinesis in the same order. So the answer for this question is option D. 2 only. Question number 22. Read the given statement about enzymes. Determine the statements that ensure the specificity of an enzyme for the substrate. Here there are four statements are given. The enzyme is generally made of proteins and the proteins are made up of amino acids. The amino acids have or as a functional group whose variation results in the formation of different amino acids. Due to the R group, the bonding of polypeptide chain in enzyme will differ resulting in formation of various folds and bends in its tertiary structure enabling the making of substrate binding site which is highly specific. So the answer for this question is option C. From the given four statements, statement 1 only, question number 23. Nitrate formation by the following reaction is accomplished by The reaction is oxidation of nitrite into nitrate. This reaction is catalyzed by the bacteria Nitrobacter. Nitrosomonas and Nitrococcus are responsible for the ammonia to nitrite. Theobacillus and Pseudomonas is responsible for denitrification process. So the answer for this question is option C. Nitrobacter. Question number 24. Determine the process that will occur based on the given information regarding two adjacent cells. In such a problem, we must calculate the diffusion pressure deficit. It is commonly called as DPD of the cell A and B formula. DPD is equal to OP, osmotic potential minus turgor pressure. It is also called suction pressure, net pressure causing water to enter the cell. DPD of cell X equal to 8 minus 6 equal to 2. DPD of cell Y equal to 12 minus 8 equal to 4. Water will always move from a cell with lesser DPD to cell with higher DPD value. That means the movement of water will occur from cell X to cell Y. So the answer is option C. Water will move from cell X to Y. Question number 25. A biocatalyst. Enzyme is a catalyst that reduces the activation energy for a reaction and helps in increasing the concentration of product without any change in energy yield. So the answer is option C. Decreases the activation energy and has no effect on energy yield. Question number 26. A given sample of somatic cell was treated with chemical X. It was found that chemical X inhibits chromatid separation. During somatic cell division process, the treated cell will reach which stage of cell division before being interrupted. X is a colchicin, is a mitotic inhibitor. It does not allow spindle fiber to be formed. Thus, condensation of chromosome will occur and propase will be completed, but metapase won't be completed. So the answer for this question is option B. Metapase. Question number 27. Given below is the process to separate the contents of a living tissue by acid treatment and a list of certain observations. Segregate the observations under filtrate A and retentate B and select the correct combination. 
the given procedure is about a chemical analysis of a living matter filtrate is the acid soluble pool while the retentate is a acid insoluble pool acid soluble pool as bio micromolecules containing low molecular weight molecules having a molecular weight between 18 to 800 daltons they are generally monomers such as amino acids monosaccharides etc acid insoluble pool as a bio macromolecules containing high molecular weight molecules having molecular weight above 800 daltons they are generally polymers such as carbohydrates proteins nucleic acids etc so the answer for this question is option c a is 1 4 and b is 2 3 5 from the given five statements question number 28 secondary growth brought about by vascular cambium in dicot is a type of in arithmetic growth the cell divides giving rise to two daughter cells from which only one daughter cell continues to divide while other differentiate and matures to become permanent cell this kind of growth rate is shown by meristematic cells plasticity is a ability of tissue to form different structures in response to environmental conditions senescence is the deterioration phase with respect to aging of cell or tissue or an organism so the answer is option c arithmetic growth question number 29 determine the correct sequence of process of nutrition in a human being see the statements which are given here the step involved in the process of digestion of food are as follows first process mastication of food in the mouth by teeth and formation of bolus second process process deglution passage of bolus through the esophagus with the help of a peristatic movement of esophagus the entry of food into the stomach is third process grinding of food by the muscular wall of stomach and it's uh, mixing with gastric juices leading to formation of chyme fourth process is passage of food and uh, digestion of food in the small intestine which is the most coiled part of the alimentary canal fifth process is passage of unabsorbed and undigested food in the cecum of the large intestine so the answer for this question is option c so that is orderly given Question number 30 the acid concentration in camp plants is more at Crassulation acid metabolism it is generally called as camp pathway occur in succulent plants carbon dioxide is fixed during the night in the absence of light to malic acid via PEP carboxylase this carbon dioxide comes from respiration as also from the atmosphere malic acid gets stored in vacuoles during the night which is decarboxylated to release during the day formation of malic acid during dark is called as acidification or phase one release for actual photosynthesis during day is called deacidification or phase two the camp plants also contain the enzyme of calvin cycle thus during daytime malic acid breaks into pyruvate and carbon dioxide while carbon dioxide enters the calvin cycle pyruvate is used up to regenerate pep the succulents therefore since there is plenty of organic acids from carbon dioxide during night when stoma are open and plenty of carbohydrates during the daytime when stoma are closed so the answer for this question is option b night time question number 31 which of the following processes produce the maximum amount of atp on the aerobic breakdown of one molecule of glucose the energy produced during the breakdown of one molecule glucose in electron transport system contributes the maximum amount of atp in krebs cycle according to about 34 atp molecules glycolysis yield 2 atp on one glucose molecule breakdown and two Krebs cycle produce up to four ATP molecules. 
So the answer is option C. Electron transport system. Question number 32. The difference shown in the morphology of leaf during the developmental stages will be in Plasticity is an ability of the plants to modify their structural and physiological properties in response to the environmental conditions. Heteropyly is one such example where the shape of leaves of plants are different in zonile stage and different in their mature stage. The examples of such plasticity is cotton, logspur and coriander. Answer is option B. Cotton and logspur. Question number 33. Identify the biocatalyst that helps in obtaining the connecting link between glycolysis and Krebs cycle. Two molecules of pyruvate are formed by the glycolytic reaction occurring in the cytosol of the cell. The pyruvate molecule then enters the mitochondrial matrix where it is converted to acetyl-CoA by a reaction known as oxidative decarboxylation in the presence of oxidizing agent NAD+. The enzyme responsible for this reaction is pyruvate dehydrogenase and the cofactor is magnesium 2+. So the answer for this question is option C, pyruvate dehydrogenase. Question number 34. In the hypothesis given by Peter Mitchell, where will we observe the accumulation of hydrogen ions that is generally called as protons in the cell? According to the chemiosmotic hypothesis, the splitting of water molecule occurs in the lumen of thylakoid hence leading to the accumulation of proton ions in the lumen itself. This creates the proton gradient across membrane leading to the ATPS pump activity. So the answer is option B, a lumen of thylakoid. Question number 35. Which of these will be seen our uh, respiratory system? The trachea primary, secondary and tertiary bronchi are supported by incomplete cartilaginous rings. Each terminal bronchiole gives rise to a number of very thin irregular walled and vascularized bag like structures called as alveoli made up of squamous epithelium. Alveolar walls contain elastic fibers which stretch during inspiration and recoil during expiration to help force out of hair. This elasticity allows alveoli to expand according to the volume of air breathed in. So the answer for this question is option B. From the given statements, statement 1 and 3 will be seen in our respiratory system. Question number 36. Determine the wrong statements with respect to the nucleated blood cells. Here there are... Uh, Four statements are given. The most abundant leukocyte is called as neutrophil, is granulocyte, while the least abundant leukocyte is basophil, is also granulocyte. The largest leukocyte is monocyte and an agranulocyte, while the smallest leukocyte is lymphocyte, is also an agranulocyte. Pagocytic leukocytes are neutrophils recently called as granulocyte and monocyte a granulocyte polymorphonuclear leukocytes are commonly called as neutrophils or the largest granulocyte while the largest a granulocyte is monocyte as a kidney shaped nucleus so the answer for this question is option d given four statements statement one and statement three are wrong statements with respect to the nucleated blood cells. Question number 37. The correct order of response of organs for increasing blood pressure is decrease in blood pressure or GFR. In response to decrease in blood pressure or GFR that means glomerular filtration rate, the kidneys release renin. Renin acts on the liver and converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 in the lungs 
and angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 with the help of angiotensin converting enzyme. Angiotensin 2 is a vasoconstrictor and also stimulates the adrenal gland which releases aldosterone. Aldosterone acts on kidney and helps in absorption of sodium ions. Thus, this mechanism increases blood pressure. So, the correct sequence is option A. Kidney, liver, lungs, adrenal gland, kidney. That is the correct order. Question number 38. Match the following and choose the correct option. See the column 1 and column 2. Ball and sacca joint found in humerus and pectoral girdle. Hinge joint found in knee. Pivot joint found in atlas and axis. Saddle joint corpal and metacarpal of thumb. So the correctly matching option is option A. Question number 39. Which of the following regions of brain is incorrectly paired with its function? The cerebellum is followed in the coordination of voluntary motor movement, balance and equilibrium and not language comprehension. It is located just above the brain stem and toward the back of the brain. So the answer for this question is option B. Cerebellum language comprehension is given. So, that is incorrectly paired. Question number 40. Select the correct description regarding the chemical messengers released by glands found on top of kidney. Aldosterone stimulates the reabsorption of sodium and water from renal tubules. Glucocorticoid inhibit cellular uptake and utilization of amino acids. Aldosterone help in the maintenance of body fluid volume, electrolysis, osmotic pressure and blood pressure. So the answer for this question is option B. Cortisol is a major glucocorticoid. Question number 41. Which of the following is correct for lens focusing while seeing a distant object? Human eye. Uh, have remarkable power of accommodation by changing the convexity of the lens due to action of the muscles of ciliary body and suspensory ligaments the focal length of the lens can be changed then the objects can be focused in different uh, intensity of light from varying distances for accommodation of distant object ciliary muscles are relaxed and Suspensory ligaments are uh, tightly stretched. So the answer for this question is option C. Relaxed ciliary muscles and tightly stretched suspensory ligaments. Question number 42. In which of the following joints will restricted movement be absorbed? The joint present between adjacent vertebrae is known as cartilaginous joint. The bones involved in this type of joint are connected together with the help of cartilage. These joints allow only limited range of movement. The answer is option B. Joint present between adjacent vertebrae. Cost number 43. A and B are peptide hormones known to contract each other. Both of them are secreted by different cells of the same leaf-like organ found near the stomach if b is used to cure a disease in which glucose is lost via urine and excess a is a potential cause of the same disease identify a and b the alpha cells of the hyalates of langer cons are responsible for secretion of glucagon glucagon is responsible for glycogenolysis hence it causes hyperglycemia the beta cells of the hyalates of langer cons are responsible for secretion of insulin insulin is responsible for glycogenesis and hence caused hypoglycemia insulin therapy is used to treat diabetes mellitus which is associated with loss of glucose through urine 
and formation of harmful compounds known as ketone bodies due to prolonged hyperglycemia so the answer for this question is option c a represent glucagon b represent insulin question number 44 incorrect statements about heart are here there are four statements are given so the answer for this question is option a from the given four statements statement 1 and 3 are incorrect about heart question number 45 vital capacity is sum of vital capacity is the maximum volume of air a person can breathe in after a forced expiration this includes expiratory reserve volume tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume can also be represented as the maximum volume of air a person can breathe out after a forced inspiration so the answer is option b tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume and expiratory reserve volume question number 46 find the odd one out from the following glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids sex corticoids are hormones of adrenal cortex of uh, adrenal gland nor adrenaline or nor epinephrine epinephrine adrenaline or hormones of adrenal medulla or adrenal gland relaxin estrogen progesterone or hormone of female glands that is female gonads insulin and glucagon are hormones of pancreas and thymosin is a hormone of thymus gland so the answer for this question is option d insulin glucagon thymosin that is hard one question number 47 select the statement that is correct regarding hornetotoki and teltotoki parthenogenesis is the process of formation of organism from the egg without fertilization in teltotoki only females are produced by parthenogenesis example whiptail lizards in hornetotoki only males are produced by parthenogenesis example male honey bee it is commonly called as drone so the answer for this question is option a in hornetotoki only males are produced by parthenogenesis while in teltotoki only females are produced by parthenogenesis question number 48 which of these flowers will be largest in size flowers are pollinated by birds are called as ornithopelous flowers they have corolla tube formed by the fusion of petals this allows the beak of the bird to be placed in the flower they have large amount of nectar they are without fr- since the birds cannot smell insect pollinated flowers are called as entomopelous flowers will be bright colored and with a sweet smell bat pollinated flowers are called as chiropteropelous flowers are generally white flowers with rotting fruit odor wind pollinated flowers are called as anemopelous flowers are small not colored and not fragrant so the answer for this question is option c ornithophilus flowers question number 49 to enhance the chances of pollination which of the following is provided by amorphopallus to the pollinating agent pallus is named so because of the prominent spadix it is the tallest flower about 6 feet tall they provide the site for laying eggs for the insects that pollinate it so the answer for this question is option d safe place to lay eggs question number 50 determine the incorrect statements regarding the process of female gamete production here there are four statements are given first one no more oogonia are added to the ovary after birth third point the fluid filled cavity present in the tertiary follicle is called as antrum fourth one the secondary oocyte forms a membrane called zona pellucida around it so the answer for this question is option b from the given four statements first third and fourth regarding female gamete production question number 
oral birth control pill which is not a steroid is Saheli or Hormeloxifene or Centochromin is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. It is a non-steroidal oral contraceptive pill to be consumed once a week. It was developed by Central Drug Research Institute CDRA in Lagno, India. So the answer is option D. Saheli. Question number 52. When transfer of pollen grains occur over the surface of water, it is called Entomopily is pollination by insects. Mymercopily is pollination by ants. The pollination which takes place on the surface of water is called as Epihydropily. The pollination which takes place inside the water is called as Hypohydropily. In Valisneria, the female flower reaches the surface of water by a long stalk and the male flower or pollen grains are released onto the surface of water. Thus it shows epihydropily. So the answer is option B. Epihydropily. Question number 53. With respect to blood groups, the person having DAS blood group is definitely homozygous. ABO blood group system is uh, controlled by there are three different alleles. High power A. I power B and I. Person with blood group A may have genotype I power A, I power A or I power A, I. Person with blood group B may have genotypes I power B, I power B or I power B, I. Person with blood group O genotype is I, I. Both are recessive homozygous. So the answer for this question is option D. Blood group O. Question number 54. The assisted reproductive technology process called GIFT uses. GIFT stands for Gamete Intrafallopian Tube Transfer. It is an assisted reproductive technology used in females who cannot produce an ovum but are capable of providing the necessary conditions for fertilization and implantation. In this technique, the ovum is collected from the donor female and it is uh, transported to the fallopian tube of the mother. So the answer for this question is option C. Transfer of ovum collected from donor to the fallopian tube. Question number 55. In a Mendelian dihybrid grass, when heterozygous round yellow seeded plants were self-crossed, round green seeded offsprings are represented by the genotype. In a Mendelian dihybrid cross, when heterozygous round yellow seeded plants are self-crossed, round green seeds offsprings are represented by capital R, capital R, small y, small y, capital R, small r, small y, small y genotypes. So the answer for this question is option D. Question number 56. The wrong statement about fertilization or post-fertilization changes in human is. During fertilization, the sperm first comes in contact with zona pellucida layer of the ovum. Certain enzymes are released by the acrosome of the sperm. These enzymes cause certain changes in the zona pellucida layer. Thus, the entry of further sperms is prevented. So, the answer for this question is option B. During fertilization, the sperm comes in contact with cell membrane of ovum first. So, that is the wrong statement. Question number 57. The given pedigree chart shows the inheritance of which of the following Mendelian disorders. See the disorders. Sickle cell anemia is an autosome linked recessive trait that can be transmitted from parent to the offspring when both the partners are carriers from the gene. The disease is controlled by a single gene pair HBA and HBS. So the answer for this question is option C. Autosomal recessive trait sickle cell anemia. Question number 58. Alpha globin production for hemoglobin is controlled by. In alpha thalassemia production of alpha globin chain is affected while in beta thalassemia production of beta globin chain is affected. Alpha thalassemia is controlled by two closely linked genes 
HbA1 and HbA2 on chromosome 16 of each parent while beta thalassemia is controlled by a single gene HbB on chromosome 11 of each parent. So the answer for this question is option D. Two genes located on chromosome 16. Question number 59. In which part of the sperm will be find a huge quantity of organelles nicknamed powerhouse of the cell? The middle piece of the sperm contains numerous mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. These mitochondria supply sperm with the energy while it requires for its motility and fertilizing capacity. So the answer for this question is option D, the middle piece. Question number 60, apomixis in which the new cell or tissue cells form embryos is shown by in citrus the new cell or cells deployed in nature protrude in the embryo sac and develop many embryos this phenomena is called as polyembryony since such seeds are formed with fertilization they are also called apomictic seeds so the answer for this question is option c lemon Question number 61. Which of the following laws do not show any deviation? Co-dominance and incomplete dominance are the exceptions to the law of dominance. Linkage is the exception to law of independent assortment. Law of segregation. The service called as law of purity of gametes which states that in a hybrid the members of an allelic pair stay together without mixing and separate or segregate independently during gamete formation as no exceptions so the answer is option b law of purity of gametes question number 62 which of the following description of eye color is true for fruit fly in drosophila melanogaster the genes for eye color as well as body color is located on x chromosomes red eye color is dominant while white eye color is recessive brown body color is dominant while yellow body color is recessive these two genes were used by morgan to study linkage so the answer for this question is option d red eye color is dominant over white eye color and its gene is located on x chromosome question number 63 how many nuclei are involved in the process of fertilization in the flowering plants? Angiosperms show double fertilization. It is called as syngamy. There is a fusion of one male gamete and one female gamete having one nucleus each. In triple fusion, there is fusion of one male gamete having one nucleus and two polar nuclei. Thus, five nuclei, two polar nuclei, one egg nuclei, Two male gametes participate in double fertilization. So the answer for this question is option C 5. Question number 64. Which of these is a non-infectious and non-communicable disease? Sometimes due to genetic or unknown reasons the body is unable to differentiate between its own and foreign cells and attacks its own cells. This is known as autoimmunity and the diseases occurring as a result of this are known as autoimmune diseases. Rheumatoid arthritis is an example of autoimmune disease in humans. Anthrax is caused by baseless anthracis. Malaria is caused by protozoan plasmodium. TB is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Thus, these diseases are infectious and communicable. So, the answer for this question is option C. Rheumatoid arthritis. Question number 65. Select the correct sequence of events in a sewage treatment process. The sequence of steps in sewage treatment is as follows. First one is primary treatment. This involves physical removal of all small and large particles from sewage through filtration and sedimentation. Secondary treatment. This involves a constant mechanical agitation of effluent in aeration tank and pumping of air. As a result, there is a growth of useful aerobiomicromolecules, that is microbes, 
flocks with consume majority of the oxygen in the effluent and significantly reduce the biological oxygen demand passage of effluent into setting tanks where sedimentation of bacterial flocks occurs this sediment is called the activated sludge the effluent from the secondary treatment plant is released into natural water bodies so the answer for this question is option c that is the correct sequence question number 66 where will be the human insulin found in the genetically altered prokaryote human insulin can be produced via genetic engineering by transferring the gene into a bacterial plasmid and getting it expressed the insulin the bacteria is produced within the bacterial cytoplasm so the answer is option a genetically engineered bacterial cytoplasm question number 67 Hydrarch succession and Xerarch succession doesn't differ in. Hydrarch succession begins in water bodies and continues till mesic, condition, mesic conditions are obtained. Xeric succession begins in dry land and continues till mesic conditions are obtained. Mesic condition in both succession is the same, neither too dry nor too wet. The Community here is in near equilibrium with the environment and is called climax community. It is a forest. So the answer is option C. Climax community. Question number 68. Read the following statement about genetically engineered plants. Select the ones that are advantageous. Genetically modified plants have been useful in many ways. Genetic modifications has made crops more tolerant to abiotic stresses, reduced reliance on chemical pesticides, helped to reduce host harvest losses and increase yield, also enhanced nutritional value of food. So the answer for this question is option A. From the given statements, first, second and third are the following statements about genetically engineered plants that are more advantageous. Question number 69. Which of the following is commonly called Bacchus yeast? Saccharomyces cerevisiae is commonly known as Bacchus yeast or Brevis yeast. It is used for bread making. It is also used for production of beverages like whiskey, wine, brandy and rum. It is used for fermenting fruit juices and malted cereals for making ethanol. So the answer is option B. And eukaryote Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Question number 70. Which of the following is found in highest percentage in dry biomass? Dry weight of the organism is the weight after water is removed carbon co constitutes around 49 percent of dry weight in organism thus it contributes maximally to dry weight of the organism answer is option b carbon question number 71 which of the following attribute inhibits uncontrolled growth and thus prevents a cell from turning cancerous the property shown by normal cells by virtue of which contact with other cells inhibits their uncontrolled growth is known as contact inhibition. This property is lost by cancer cells. As a result, they continue to divide and give rise to masses of cells known as tumors. So the answer for this question is option C. Contact inhibition. Question number 72. The total dry weight accessible to heterotrophs is an ecosystem will form the gross primary productivity of an ecosystem is the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis. A considerable amount of GPP is utilized by plants in respiration. Gross primary productivity minus respiration losses that is uh, or is the net primary productivity NPP 
it is the available biomass for the consumption to heterotrophs herbivores and decomposers so the answer is option b net primary productivity question number 73 read the given statements regarding humanization and select option that identifies the correct ones d Antibodies produced in the body against antigen neutralize the pathogenic agent during the initial in infection itself and prevent further infection. Third one is hepatitis B vaccine is prepared by using yeast through recombinant DNA technology. So from the given four statements, statement 1 and 4 are the statements regarding humanization that is the option that identifies correctly because number 74 an example of disease caused by the prokaryotic pathogen is red rot of sugarcane is caused caused by fungus late blight of potato is caused by fungus brown rust of wheat is caused by fungus black rot of crucifers caused by a bacterium Tobacco mosaic is caused by virus. So the answer for this question is option C. Black rot of crucifer. Question number 75. Which of the following statement correctly describes the competitive release? Sometimes a species is restricted to smaller area due to another species which is uh, superior. If the superior species is removed, the competition of the inferior species decreases and they increase in number and covers a wider area. This is called competitive release. So the answer for this question is option C. The expansion of a distribution of species restricted to a small area due to a competitively superior species being experimentally eliminated. Question number 76. The correct chronological arrangement of the following event is The government of India has passed the water that is Prevention and Control of Pollution Act in the year of 1974 to safeguard our water resources. In India, the Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act was amended in the year of 1987 to include noise as an air pollutant. The National Forest Policy in the year of 1988 is of India as recommended. 33% of forest cover for the plains and 67% for the hills. Recognizing the deleterious effects on ozone depletion and international treaty known as the Montreal Protocol was signed at Montreal, it is in Canada. In the year of 1987 effective in 1989 so the correct sequence is option B Question number 77 depending on the quantity of minerals select the option that has the soil types in correct ascending order particle size of a clay is 0 0.002 mm while that of 0 0.0022 to 0 0.02 mm the particle size of fine sand is 0 0.02 to 0 0.2 mm while that of coarse sand is 0 0.2 to 2 mm so the answer for this question is option b so that is given in descending order question number 78 Determine the correct statement from the given option with respect to an electrostatic precipitator. Electrostatic precipitator has electrodes maintained at many thousand volts. They produce a corona that releases negatively charged electrons which combine with dust particles to give them a negative, change, negative charge. Grounded collecting plates collect these negatively charged dust particles if the air velocity is low allowing the dust to fall so the collecting plates are grounded and collect negatively charged dust particles question number 79 
in which of the following region exo nucleus will cut the dna restriction enzyme belong to a larger class of enzyme called as nucleases they are of two types exo nucleases and endo nucleases exo nucleases remove nucleotides from the ends of the dna whereas endo nucleases make cuts at a specific position within the dna so the answer is option b at end of the polynucleotide chain question number 80 the connect orders of fossils from lowest cranial capacity to highest cranial capacity the first hominid was called homo habilis and his cranial capacity was between 650 to 800 cc homo erectus whose fossils were discovered in java had a large brain with cranial capacity of around 900 cc the neanderthal man had a cranial capacity of 1400 cc and lived near east and central asia so the answer for this question is option b homo habilis java man and neanderthal man so that is the correct order of fossils from lowest cranial capacity to highest cranial capacity question number 81 how much amount of the total oxygen is contributed by the amazon forest in earth's atmosphere amazon rainforest produces approximately 20% of oxygen in earth's atmosphere which is about 1/5th of the total oxygen so the answer is option c 1/5th number 82 which step of protein synthesis is performed by ribosomes ribosome holds the mrna containing the triplet codes for amino acid and arranges the amino acid in a chain during the process of translation where trna brings the specific amino acid bases on the codon sequence so the answer is option a assemble amino acids in a chain question number 83 Das has been found to have sub species namely Ball, Javan and Caspian. Recent extinctions of species includes Guaga in Africa, Thylacine in Australia, Stellar sea cow in Russia, the Dodo, Mauritius and three sub species Bali, Javan caspian of tiger so the answer for this question is option b panthera tigris question number 84 ta plasmid is found in ta plasmid of agrobacterium is a natural gene transfer tool used by the bacteria to induce tumor or into the host plant the ta plasmid is used as vector to transfer the gene of interest into the plant and develop transgenic plant so the answer for this question is option d agrobacterium tumefaciens question number 85 read the below statements about the structure of genetic material and identify the correct ones adenine and guanine are uh, purines which has two ring structures whereas thymine uracil and cytosine are pyrimidines having single ring structure the nucleotide of dna and rna are not same as the sugar molecule is different ribose in rna and deoxyribose in dna so the answer for this question is option d from the given statements first third and fourth only given uh, about the structure of genetic material correct ones question number 86 in miller's experiment das was not used stanley miller created electric discharge in a closed flask containing methane hydrogen ammonia and water vapor at 800 degree celsius he simulated early earth's atmosphere and was able to get amino acids thus he experimentally proved the life originated from inorganic matter so the answer is option d in miller's experiment nitrogen was not used 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 87 जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इज इन्वॉल्वड इन अ टेक्निक टू हॉल्ट द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ जेनेटिक मटेरियल इदर डीएनए एंड आरएनए to introduce this into host organism and thus change the phenotype of the host organism come under genetic engineering statement one is only one where the gene is manipulated artificially to get desired effect selective breeding can be considered as gene manipulation but there is no control on outcome but chance so the answer for this question is option d from the given four statements statement one is genetic engineering uh, involved question number 88 which of the following is most effective way to conserve plant diversity of an area biosphere reserves or uh, multi-purpose protected area which are uh, meant for preserving genetic diversity in representative ecosystems of various natural biomes and unique biological communities so the answer for this question is option c biosphere resource question number 89 the anticodon of trna coding for alanine was found to be ggu what will be the triplet sequence on the antisense strand of DNA. Anticodon is the triplet found on tRNA which is complementary to mRNA and the mRNA is complementary to the uh, template that is uh, antisense DNA strand used in transcription. Thus the sequence of tRNA will be same as the template DNA only interchanging T and U. So, tRNA anticodon CGU will have DNA triplet as CGT. So the answer is option C. CGT. Question number 90 is the last question. Theory of origin of species by Darwin and Wallace does not explain all of this except Darwin's theory on origin of species states that over reproduction and the absence of available resources causes struggle for existence in the struggle for existence nature will select those organisms with favorable variations so that means survival of the fittest continuous environmental changes along with natural selection lead to the origin of species so the answer for this question is option d the cause of struggle for existence Thank you very much for listening our videos. Those who are watching our videos, you are requested to like, subscribe and share to your friends. All the best.